this record button here. What that? Here we are on the. Um, oh, I guess it's about the 14th of September. It's a pretty day. It's supposed to start blowing this afternoon, but this morning flat calm. And I'm coming down to show everybody the hydro. That's it. The hydro unit, the hydro generating unit. So we've got uh, 1,200 foot of four inch pipe. It's black HDPE pipe coming down the hill. Isolation valve there, a, a stainless steel flex connection that allows for um, shrinkage as well as flex from side to side a little bit. And then uh, um, white PVC compression connection. We got another one of those inside and there's a the little house we built for it. And right now it's uh, shut down. We've, we're up cleaning the intake, so I thought I'd uh, video it. And then uh, coming out is a, a drain line uh, to flush it out. If you want it. So there are the two units. Um, each one has two nozzles, and you got a little ammeter on top and, uh, and an alternator. And uh, it's capable of putting out, uh, understand, about 3 kW each. So after the if, Put through the inverters. So, close it up a little bit. You see, there's uh, two nozzle oscillation valves, uh, and then the ammeter, the alternator. They're wired in parallel. Each one of them is putting out 48 volts. So, and then there's a uh, the white PVC manifold supplied by alternative power. In fact, they supplied all this, and then we hooked her up. And there's the cables coming out the front, going underground uh, over to the control station control panel. And we got a way to measure the pressure right now at zero because we've got everything shut down. So we can keep walk by, we can look in and see the ammeters through the windows. And we can see the water pressure and we can see the isolation valve doesn't work perfectly, so we've got a little drainage coming out of there. And that's our uh, spillway. And then goes right down into the ocean. And that's our two inch pipe that we use for applying drinking water and stuff. And we've got to take it out of the stream. Well, I see uh, Shane coming down the hill, so we'll get a report on what it looked like uh, up at uh, where the water pipe <laughs> everything's a go. We'll turn it on. You'll get to see how it uh, sounds. All right. So you're on recording. There's Buddy. He's comfortable in the dirt there this morning for some reason. And Shane's going to slowly open the isolation valve, the uh, throttle valves to the, or the isolation valves to the nozzles are already open. Them. So it should go a humming, and the breakers are shut in there. So first time we uh, opened this valve to start the thing, we didn't have the uh, power breaker out of it on, and uh, units spun up like a jet airplane. It sounded like they're going to fly apart. Now they're going. And we want to open that valve real slowly so that we don't put a water hammer on the piping. You can see, you can hear it coming on slow. So we should end up with about 55 pounds of pressure when it's running and generating about 17 amps, something like that. In each one of them.
Ici, ça a tiré ça, il est tiré à l'heure. Modified some of the sheds a little bit, added on a special little room at the back of the main tool shed for the batteries and the control panel. So we'll go in there and see what's going on. So there's the control panel. So we built a little room and insulated it. We've got a window we can open. There's the outback control panel. So there's the AC part of it with the breakers down at the bottom and the inverters in the middle and then your DC control panel and the load diversion <coughs> panel is over here at the right and right now we're at uh, batteries uh, 30 to 65 percent I guess and it'll be charging pretty soon we're running at uh, 53.4 volts now that we're back on the hydro and the battery box is here I got it propped open to get a little air in there <coughs> there go. that must have sounded good and there's, there's the batteries all wired up yep So the room that I just showed you, the battery room, is this room right here. So all my fancy wiring going underground, at least, over to the hydro unit. And then the rest of the yard, we've got a couple of trailers and 